Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about is ketosis safe long term? Okay, that keeps coming up over and over and over again. Now, if you if you take a look at what ketosis is, it's running your body on fat fuel. Okay, not just dietary fat, but your own fat. So versus the regular way, which is your running body on sugar or glucose. Now, what do you think? I mean, it's just bizarre to me that people think that ketosis or fat burning is dangerous compared to what, what do you think they're burning right now? Sugar. Burning sugar fuel sets you up for high insulin. And out of all the illnesses or the diseases why people die, heart disease, Alzheimer's, kidney problems, uh, cancer, stroke, all those are related to high insulin, not ketones. There's no bad thing about running your body in ketones. It's actually the best fuel for the brain. Your brain will run on glucose, but if you give it, if you drop the glucose down and you run it on ketones, which is the byproduct of fat burning, it's a much cleaner fuel. It's like running your body on electric fuel versus uh, sugar, which is a dirty fuel because you have the highs and lows of the blood sugar. So your brain loves the ketones and that's why they use ketosis in a lot of uh, problems with um, um, like epileptic seizures, things like that for kids. Uh, because the brain chills out when you actually feed it that. In fact, all the people that just have better thinking, concentration, focus when they go on a ketosis diet. And especially long term, okay, not a short term thing. There is no long term uh, negative thing about ketosis at all. Okay, we'll cover each point. Um, in fact, it's one of the original fuels. Our bodies ran on, on fat in the, way back, you know, in the, in the caveman days, because if you think about sugar, the introduction of sugar in the last hundred years, it's like, what, 149 pounds of sugar per person consumed right now? I mean, that's insane. So um, sugar fuel has created more problems than anything, especially with belly fat. So essential fatty acids, okay? So when you're running your body on ketones, you're running body on fat. Um, the fat is not just used for fuel, it's used to replace body parts. Cellular membranes, brain, nerve tissue, hormones are all made from fat. Fat soluble vitamins are made from fat. There is no essential carbohydrates that you need. There's no essential glucose. People think that, well, that's how you get energy. Well, you can get a lot more energy from ketones and a lot more efficient energy. What's the number one symptom a diabetic complains of? Fatigue after eating because the the high sugar just puts you asleep and it puts the brain to sleep. It causes Alzheimer's. It messes with your, your focus. Um, so you really don't need carbs. Now, you need vegetable carbohydrates for the vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals for sure, but the actual carbohydrate in there, you don't need, okay? And it's a myth that, um, you know, it's dangerous and it creates a, a ketogenic acidosis. Ketogenic acidosis is basically a condition where your pH is becoming more acidic from a diabetic type 1 situation where you have no more insulin, you can't regulate it. That's completely different than doing a ketosis diet healthily. Okay? You're not going to even get close to the amount of acids, which is a byproduct, um, if you have any insulin at all, which you, which you do have. It's not a problem. So it, this is not even a factor. Um, in fact, if you were a type 1 diabetic or a type 2, this would be the best diet to put, put on because what happens is the glucose that you're running on burns out the cells that make insulin. Okay? Next myth is the muscle loss that you would get on a ketogenic diet. Ketones do not equal muscle loss. In fact, when you do ketosis with intermittent fasting, you increase the very hormone that preserves proteins, especially the muscle, growth hormone. So intermittent fasting increases growth hormone and so does the ketogenic diet. If you're on the regular glucose your, uh, diet or you're running on sugar fuel, which everyone is doing, you're gonna raise insulin and insulin will lower growth hormone and cause more muscle loss. Take a look at a diabetic or a pre-diabetic. They're losing muscle tissue, okay? Especially type one diabetics. So we want to keep the insulin low. Um, here's another myth. Ketones are dirty, sugar's clean. No, it's just the opposite. Ketones are clean, and uh, it's like running your body on sugar is like running your body on um, diesel fuel. It's dirty. 
especially it gives a lot of byproducts in the whole met metabolic pathway. Some people say that ketogenic diets create deficiencies. Yes, they do, they do require different machinery, different nutrients, different B vitamins, uh, more minerals, okay? But as long as you have enough vegetables and maybe you're adding more minerals, potassium and B vitamins, you're totally fine. Uh, I mean, think about what happens when you're, you're running your body on glucose. You're depleting potassium, you're depleting uh, magnesium, and you're depleting B vitamins and calcium when you eat sugar. Like incredible. In fact, when you have insulin resistance, you don't, the insulin doesn't pull in the amino acid or the potassium or the magnesium anymore. So really, it's just the opposite. Uh, glucose, running your body on glucose creates way more deficiencies. And here's another point about raising cholesterol. Your body makes massive amounts of cholesterol every single day for a reason, because it acts as a precursor for hormones. It acts to help repair the tissue, especially when you get older. It's the building block for stress hormones, especially. And our bodies make the amount of cholesterol that would e equal one pound of better, butter or 300 strips of bacon or 14 eggs a day. So if cholesterol is so bad, why does your body make so much? So it's not true that ketosis will increase your cholesterol. In fact, what really makes cholesterol is the sugar and the refined glucose and the carbohydrates. If you don't believe me, go ahead and cut out the desserts, cut out the sugar for one month, recheck your cholesterol and your triglycerides. It'll come right down to normal. And then we have the kidney stones. So people say, that, oh yeah, the ketogenic diet creates kidney stones. If you're a vegan, Okay, or you're running your body in glucose, you're, running, uh, you're actually having more oxalate stones. Guess, guess what foods that are high in oxalates? Spinach, beans, grains, chocolate, and uh, any, any carbs that increase sugar or insulin will actually increase uric acid stones. So in reality, ketogenic diet will protect you. The only thing you need to do is you have to consume some lemon juice just to uh, start to um, help you balance that out a little bit more. All right, so I just wanted to cover some key points. Ketosis is, is the only way to be healthy long term, and I think you should uh, learn about it, get all the details, do it healthily, and add intermittent fasting, add more vegetables, and I think it's gonna, you're going to feel better and you're going to look better. Thanks for watching.